Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training and this is video number one of three that is going to help you improve your footwork. So this video is all about the split step and working on improving your split step. Now before we get into the actual drills that I'm going to show you, I just want to say that in Spain, a place that has produced tons and tons of ATP players in the last 15 or 20 years, even right now if you go in the list of the top 100, there's 13 Spanish players in the top 100. So in Spain, they're a big believer in footwork and movement. All the drills that you do in Spain, most of the drills in the academies, they're based around recovery, getting to the ball, setting up, hitting the shot, recovering. Whereas in other countries around the world, they, they focus more on the technical side of things. Whereas in Spain, it's all about the footwork, it's all about the movement. The very famous quote, in, uh, famous saying in Spain is, you play tennis with your legs, with your feet, you only hit the shot with your upper body. But getting there, you're getting to the shot and you're getting back from the shot with your legs. So the whole, the whole Spanish system is based around the footwork and the movement. And that's a big reason why they're so successful in tennis, in producing ATP players, because you see the movement of players like Nadal or Ferrer. These guys are such good movers on the tennis court, and that's why they're such good players. One of the biggest reasons why they're such good players. So back to the drill for the split step. What is a split step? A split step is basically a signal to your body. You're basically sending a signal to your body. Get ready to move in any direction. So when you're in the split step position, you see a split step. They're in this position here. The best split step in the world is probably Federer. I love the guy's split step. Wide base. So he's got a nice wide base. He isn't upright. Common mistake you see players doing a split step like this. He's down here nice wide base and another player who I really like is Djokovic's split step because a common thing even Rafael Nadal he'll, he'll hit a shot and he'll come back in the ready position and he'll be waiting like this he'll be bouncing from leg to leg and then he does his split step whereas if you watch Novak Djokovic someone who plays a bit more inside the court a bit more aggressive he actually doesn't do this like this he'll hit a shot He'll come back in the ready position and he'll do a couple of small split steps and then he'll do the big one. So that's the first step that I would say to try next time you play tennis. Go out on the tennis court and instead of doing this when you're waiting for the opponent to hit the shot, do some small split steps, hit the shot, come back in your ready position, do a couple more split steps and then the big one. Just that one tip alone should help you to feel a bit more balanced when you're in the ready position. So here are two drills that's going to help you improve your split step the explosive energy in your legs and the explosiveness of your split step. The first one you're going to need a line. Could be anywhere on the court. Get your racket as well to make it realistic to tennis. You can hold it in the volley grip like you're at the net or you can hold it like you're on the baseline. And you're going to go there and back. That's one split step. So there and back's one. And we're going to go for ten of those in a row. So one, two, three. And that's one set, and go for two or three sets of those. If you, if you want to challenge yourself, you can do 20 in a row. And the second drill, do very small split steps like this, followed by very high ones, explosive ones, small ones, high ones, and keep alternating. And you can do that for 20 to 30 seconds, and that's one set, and do that two times or three times. So work on those two drills and work also on the ready position when you're waiting, hitting the shot instead of bouncing around like this. Hit the shot, come back to your split step position, do a couple of small ones and then the big one. That will be much easier for you to time the split step perfectly. And if you do like this video, please click like below. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you're struggling with in your own tennis game. And if you haven't subscribed already to the 
to my email list. Click the link below, visit toptennistraining.org and leave your email address. And I send out, normally I send out one or two emails a week with free videos, great content, new articles. So make sure you subscribe below. And thank you for watching the video. Guys, make sure to check out the second video and the third video that will be coming out in a couple of days. So make sure if you're subscribed to my email list, make sure you check your inbox. If you're a YouTube subscriber, make sure you check my channel in the coming days. And once again, thank you guys for watching.